Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we're going to be walking through the TFT display on the Wolf King GT. Stay tuned to learn a lot of tips and tricks for your new display. Start it up. So the TFT display is not a touchscreen. It's controlled via these controls on the left handlebar here. Now to turn it on, there's a power button on the very back of it. Hold it down for about five seconds and then the Cabo logo appears on the screen. On the top, we have the voltage, the time, and the motor mode that the scooter is set to. Below that, you have the miles per hour or kilometers per hour, however you choose to set it. Below that, on the left, you have your uh, gear setting. To change the gears on the scooter, you'll press the plus sign to go up in gears and the minus sign to go down in gears. So we have it set to five here, but it can go all the way down to one. And then if you really want to conserve power, you can make that go to eco. On the other side, you can tell how high your battery percentage is with this little bar there. At the bottom of your TFT display screen, you have your trip information that shows your current trip mileage, the trip mileage overall since you've purchased the scooter, as well as some other information. By pressing the M button, you can toggle between trip information as well as the status of both the front and rear motor. To switch between single and dual motors, just hold the plus button for five seconds. To switch back, you'll just do the same thing again. To reset the trip information on your current trip, what you'll do is you'll hold the M button down for around 5 to 10 seconds. A warning sign will pop up asking if you're okay with deleting all your current trip information. At this point, you can use the plus or minus button to toggle between your options and then use the M button to confirm your selection. For now, we're going to say no because we would not like to clear our trip information. So you would press M now. In order to change the settings on the scooter, you'll have to hold the M button down for at least 5 seconds within the first 20 seconds of the scooter being on. You'll notice there's a lot to customize in your menu settings. The first thing you can customize is how speed is measured. We have it set to miles per hour, but you could have it set to kilometers per hour if you'd prefer. Next, you can choose which time to set it to. To set the time on your scooter, simply press the plus or minus buttons to choose which numbers you'd like and then press M to confirm your selection. Once you've confirmed what time you'd like your scooter set to, simply hold the M and minus button together for a few seconds and you'll be directed out of that screen. Below set time, we have the backlight. You can set that from one to five, one being your lowest and five being your strongest backlight. Auto sleep mode determines how long the scooter stands idle before it automatically shuts power off. Right now we have it set to five minutes, but you can set your scooter up all the way to 30 minutes or off entirely if you'd like to just have it continuously running while idle. With the Wolf King GT, it introduces a new feature entirely, passwords. You can set it so that a password is required before the scooter actually turns on entirely. The way you would do that is you would go to the password tab in the settings menu and then on greeting, you click mode and then you turn it from off to on. Now, once you do that, you'll click exit and then go down twice to the number here. To set your number, you'll click up and down until you get to your desired number, and then what you do is you press M. You'll do this three more times with the other three numbers of your digit. To confirm your password selection, just hold the M and minus button for five seconds, and then it's locked in. So once you've set the password, every time that you turn the scooter on, it'll ask for you to input the same password. So we set our password to 1234, and now when I press 1234, we unlock the scooter. After password, you have display info. It's not too relevant. Oftentimes you'll just go in there if you need specific serial numbers. Now, when you try to hit the advanced settings, you'll notice this come up. To get into the advanced menu settings, you'll have to input the password that you just created. Some settings that you can change in the advanced settings are cruise control, kickstart, and ABS. These all come default off, but if you go to the advanced settings, you can turn them on. You can tell whether you have cruise control and kickstart turned on by seeing if these symbols are on your front display. If you do not see them, then you probably do not have these settings turned on. At the bottom of your advanced settings menu, you have the assistant mode. Now, this has five different levels, one being the lowest amount of assistance and five being the highest. This limits your top speed as well as it enacts an electronic ABS. We recommend that new riders start off with an assistant mode in place. If you'd like to reset all the settings that you've currently put in, simply go to the bottom of the menu settings and click reset. Once you get to the reset tab and you click it, you'll be given the yes or no option. Toggle between these by pressing the plus or minus, and then to confirm your selection, press M. I do not wish to reset my scooter today, so I'll be pressing no. The TFT display is made of imported tempered glass and is extremely glare proof, making it perfect for long rides in the sun. 
Thanks to the 4.2 inch screen on the TFT display, all your information is much more accessible than it's ever been before. In order to ensure the screen's safety, make sure to fold it backwards when folding the scooter. If left facing inward, it might hit something and crack. The control panel of your TFT display can also be used as a charging port for your phone. So if you're on a long rise and you need to charge your phone, there you go. Below your TFT control panel are your controls for the lights, the turn signals, and the horn. On either side of the handlebar, you have your brake levers. The left controls your rear and the right controls your front. On the right side of the handlebar, we have the thumb throttle. Unlike the finger throttle, this one offers a nice smooth acceleration. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. If you found this useful, please watch our other videos and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And as always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell and we'll see you next time.